Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here and welcome back. Alright, so today we're going to be jumping into a game called Stationeers. It's like uh, Astroneer and Space Engineer. If they had a baby, well this was what they, they created. Kind of weird, pretty good game though, I'm going to have to say. Uh, got me hooked a little bit. Alright, so uh, we're going to go to a new game. We're going to select Mars. Uh, I find the moon is pretty dark and gloomy, so we're just going to go with that. I um, also find that uh, the default daytime and nighttime cycles, I don't find them very balanced. I find that night daytime goes by way too fast and then, oh, hello. And I find that uh, nighttime, uh, it, it sticks around for way too long. <laughs> All right, so we got like uh, two building cases here. That's what the yellow ones are for. Uh, this is like our, our base in a box. So let's go over here where we got uh, towards some sunlight, which would be good. So let's, um, yeah, one, two, three, let's go, let's go with like a four by four. So one, two, three, four. Oh, that should do as good for, for the little bit there, just for a little bit of a floor here, just so we can get some materials cooking, right? All right. Perfect. So now we'll go put this back. Uh, grab that. Then we want these uh, sheets, right? And we'll put the that there. Then we look on our tool belt. We get our welding torch. This is pretty awesome. So you get a welder. And you weld that. Pretty sweet. That looks like it's pretty loud. <laughs> that looks like it's pretty loud in the game. Uh, let's see here. Settings, audio. Uh, we'll bring the sound effect down to 75% maybe. Let's try that. Uh, let's try that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. <laughs> that looked really loud. It was starting to peak like the, the yellow there. Like too high decibels. Oh. Am I going to get stuck in there? Probably. All right. Awesome. So if you hit J, you have a jetpack. And then you can, like, just jetpack around. So if you ever get stuck in your foundations, you can just jetpack out. Because a lot of times they won't let you jump out. And it's really weird. Because your character can't jump that high. But you can jump pretty far sometimes, I'll tell you that. That's pretty absolutely crazy. So make sure you turn off all your tools when you're done with them because they each have a battery. And until you get power going, well, you don't want to be running out of juice. So, yeah. Uh, let's put our welder away because we're going to need our hand. Um, I think the first thing we'll do is the, the solar panel. I'll put those away and then we'll grab the glass. Uh, the glass we can just like... Uh, are we going to need any more glass? I don't think so. I think that's it for now. Uh, so let's start off where here? Sure, let's start off on this side right here. Um, where's the little plus button? No, it's on that side. Okay. There we go. So the power is going to come on that side. We just put in the piece of glass here. Let's go over here. Drop this away. So now we're going to need uh, the kit. And we're going to need this one. So this one is a generator. This uh, first one. Ugh. Let me up. Uh, so we're going to want to put uh, stuff in it like that. The power can join up with that one right there. Um, is that one cable away? Let me just check the cabling first. Um, let me just check. Oh, get over here, cable. All right, so now we got our cable like this. We can bend it. We can three-way it. So I'd probably want to three-way it that way, right? Um, yeah, just like that. All right, so now we'll grab that just to make sure that we're doing everything correctly spaced apart. Because I'd hate to, hate to put it in the wrong spot. So when it connects like that, I think yellow means you're connected. So that means good. There we go. So now we'll put in our material here. And it will create power. And they will both join up on this line together here. Now, this thing right here is kind of like a little bit of a circuit breaker. Um, power goes in through the bottom, and then it comes out through the top, and it kind of regulates power through 
this point on afterwards, right? So we'll grab a crowbar here and then we can open this up. And then you'll see what I mean. So there's like a switch here. So if you put it to on, it's going to bypass and let the power through. So if at one point or another, you wanted to stop the power here, well, you could, you know. So anyways, we'll go grab the battery that's up here as well. So we'll put that one there. Grab the batteries or anything else I need to grab while I'm here. Uh, we'll grab the arc furnace. That would be a good start. Uh, jump up. So now we can put the battery in here. So now it's uh, doing power thing. So now, uh, let's see here. I want to do this how. So power goes in the front, materials come out the back. So I kind of could do it like this and the materials are going to come poking out the back or I do kind of like this. And then I come around here, grab the materials from the front. I could do that. <clears throat> I guess I could do that. Um, like I said, all this is just temporary build up, right? Uh, we don't need uh, to be too, too OCD right off of the bat because uh, everything is going to change. So here's our auto lathe and I may as well grab iron sheets because I know I'm going to need them right off the bat. So the iron, the uh, the lathe here is a uh, is like a multi structure kind of thing. So it's kind of weird. So I'm just gonna plop this on this side. I think. Um, I give it a little bit of space though, just so that way I can. Ah, now oh, that looks good. All right, so uh, we need our welding torch. Uh, I'll just put it in this hand, even though I don't like it. There we go. So now we grab cable. I'll just throw those on the ground for now. I can turn off my tool. Oop. Turn off my tool. There we go. Add the cable. Then I'll put these back. I'll grab these. And it wants me four plastic sheets. So I can put these back in here. Grab the plastic sheets. Go back to my welder, which is very strange. Never seen anybody weld plastic sheets to something before. And then the last step is the screwdriver. And then there we go. Now our lathe is complete. That's going to create like materials like the uh, um, the foundations and all the other plates and stuff like that that, we are, that we're using currently now. So like all these plates and stuff like that, uh, that's where we're going to get that from. I believe the glass as well. Uh, what else? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we got that done. Let's hook up the power. So that way we got power going everywhere. And I'll explain how this works. All right, so uh, the cables you seen me do earlier, where I was just like kind of like hooking it up. So if I switch those around like that, I could do that, right? Is that where the power line is? It is. So now we got to go back to the first one. There we go. That's connected. That's connected. And we'll just come down here like this. That means we're going to need one here and here. And we'll just flip these around. Oops, they were right. Like that and like this. Go back down to the first one. There we go. Now all these machines are powered. So if I go and I get um, some coal, I put it in here. But this battery is full already, so it will already help. Um with powering the rest of this equipment. So that's good. So all we'll have to do later on is uh, plop in some material here. It'll poop onto the floor here. We'll grab it. We toss it into here and we can make some material. So this is like a little disorganized uh, run through of how we're going to have our materials, but uh, it works for me. So uh, morning is uh, nighttime is upon us. So we're going to wait till daytime again, and then I'll go back out and uh, we'll collect some, coal that's right over here and some iron right over there so yeah i'll be back mind you it's just right over here i should be able to go let's just try it anyways so let's go to my backpack i want this close that one and we have our mining drill so like i said mining is pretty relaxed in this game you destroy the voxels pretty nice and then when you get to these these ores, well, if you 
hold it right on top of it, it actually just mines that in particular ore. So that's really nice. That's really, really nice. So yeah, that's how you get all kinds of ores right off of the bat. And you do have miners and stuff like that that will go and mine for you, but you have to program everything. So you have to know where the ore is and you can set them off to go and do that. And there's um, excavators too. Uh, they'll do one spot and they'll, they'll mine that one spot until they go down to a certain level. Uh, usually there's magma at a certain level. I didn't think there was actually still magma on uh, on the moon, but uh, they do it on the moon too as well, which I find very odd. Um, that's why you, uh, you got to pick everything up with your hands. Uh, what is that? Oh, we had silver. Oh, and uh, oh yeah, there was silver over here too. Okay, so we have uh, more than just coal over here. We had silver as well. Interesting, interesting. Well, that's kind of good, I guess. Um, then this is what coal yeah 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 all right so that's good so we got silver and coal over here um not too too great uh not too much gold uh, coal though more silver than everything else but uh we can continue mining and see what we got here all right so we're just coming back from mining now so uh now we can turn on some machines here so uh i think the first thing we're going to do is uh turn that on and then we're going to go and plop uh, 50 iron in there. We're going to turn it on. And over here, we're going to grab our 37 ore. And we're just going to plop that on and then turn this on. Now, while it's being used, at least the battery is going to go up again. So, um, yeah. Uh, what's my life support battery at, actually? Oh, wrong one. Uh, suit. So, I want to try something here. Uh... If I go like this, there we go. <laughs> awesome. All right, so now my life support battery is 100%. And that's going to charge with this. And it's also going to feed up that. So it's like a two-for-one type thing here. So once it's done plopping out all the materials, uh, you're going to see that there's only six grams left. And it's going to plop it out over here afterwards. And then we can start the next one. There we go. Plop that into here. Now we're getting... 50 grams put that in here and you can see in the contents right down here it tells you that there's 50 grams of iron in the machine so um, when we turn it on you can access a recipe here and then this is all the stuff that we're going to want to build so the first thing that you're going to want to kind of like get for um, to shoot for sorry is uh, where is it here uh, it's an electronics uh, printer right here this thing right here this is the first thing that we need to kind of go for so we'll turn it off and we'll leave it on the uh, electronics printer um, if we look here it's going to tell you you need uh, 20 iron which we got uh, you need two gold and 10 copper so we're going to have to go find uh, copper and uh, and some gold in order to get that to work so I'm just going to finish smelting up this stuff We'll go find some copper and some gold, and then uh, we'll plop down the um, the other one here, I guess, just for now, and that way we can start making some uh, some good resources. So, um, if you want your resources out of here, you would have to flick the lever, and it's literally gonna dump out every single thing that's in there. It's crazy. All right, now that we got uh, copper and all that good stuff, we we need to make that one in particular machine. We'll turn it on. We'll build the uh, electronics printer. Now, you have to make sure that you hit the button again because it's going to keep building things until, like, you turn it off. Like, I, I find this very weird. It should just build one, but or you should be able to program how many you want in there. Um, but to have a constant flow of whatever it's building, I, I don't think that's cool. I, I don't like that. So it's 22%. So as soon as it's done, it's going to go and uh, ploop a little kit here onto the ground. And we'll probably just go build it right here since the power is right there. And then we'll have our, uh, our, our auto lathe and all that stuff there side by side. So we'll just uh, wait for this to get done. It does take a little while to create. So once that's done, well, we'll be able to uh, do more stuff. So I got more gold in here in the meantime. Got uh, 12 grams of it. Gold takes a long time to process compared to uh, iron or 
copper, I think. A nickel two is a little bit long. Uh, once you start getting into a little bit harder materials, um, well, gold is a soft material, really, so I don't know why it takes so long for it to smelt down. But, like, anyways, like, the other ones are, you know, like, uh, they take a little bit longer. But I find, like, the base ones, like iron and copper, they, they go by pretty quick. Um, still take a while, but they go by, seem a little bit faster than the rest. So where are we at here? 72, 73%. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff. Got to keep an eye on that because we don't want it to keep making another one. We don't want to waste resources. So we only don't want one of these uh, these electronic printers. So yeah, 84. We're almost there. Almost there. Going good. So we got lots of room to build a base anyways. Apparently there's uh, spaceships and you can get off the planet and all kinds of different things. So like I, I haven't even checked out and scratched the surface of everything that you can do with this game. And I'm pretty sure there is a lot. So kind of looking forward to it. Oh, there we go. It's all pooped out. So make sure you turn it off. Otherwise uh, it's going to build another one. And we don't want it building another one. So uh, I guess this one's going to work the same way as the other one. So we'll do it, uh, I guess we'll do it like this, right? Mm, yeah, leave us some room to uh, to walk around here, right? That would be the smartest thing to do, Burn, right? All right, so let's get a cable going on in here. We'll do this and this, and then we'll go from here. And also, where are you? You're turning here. It's good. Then we'll make you go like that, and you like this. And straight. There we go. So now you're going to be all hooked up to power. That's good to go. Now, what are you asking? You want two iron sheets? I'll oh, probably the same thing as them, right? So two iron sheets and two plastic with some stuff like that. So here, where are they? Um, iron sheets there and plastic sheets here. So we'll go up here. We'll throw the plastic sheets on the ground because I guarantee you that's what we're going to have to do. Could almost, almost friggin smell it all right so there's that now we turn this off throw those under the ground grab the coils now it wants plastic sheets afterwards <laughs> almost almost knew it bloody knew it and then they want you to weld those on there awesome and uh, take our screwdriver and screw it there perfect so that's that uh, go grab this and put it back I don't need them right now. So put that there and that there. Awesome. So what this is going to do is it's going to build us more parts. So let's go turn it on and see what we can make it here. So all kinds of electricity things. Um, what's really good here? What's really good that we're really going to need? Uh, logic things down here. The logic kits. Uh, these logic kits down here. Where are they? Um, we got landing kits. Oh, here we go. We got uh, these logic kits here and these processor kits and switches and all these are all like really good because they're all going to be used for uh, automating, automating stuff. So we'll get into that slow, but uh, slow, but surely. But uh, yeah, that's that. So we'll turn that off for now. So our gold is done. And then all we got left is, oops, wrong button. All we got left is that. All right. So we will, I guess, continue in the next episode. I'll put some of that in there just so we can have some gold. And I'll plop some iron out of there too. Anyways, um, I think that's going to be a good base start for uh, this episode. We have uh, the auto lathe up. We got our electronic printing up. Uh, we got a little bit of power and stuff like that. So I think the first thing that we're going to start on next week, or next week, the next episode, is I'm going to designate a power area. Um, probably run out uh, something going to be a little bit out this way, maybe. And we'll do solar panels out there. And that way it'll track the sun and we'll have uh, power as long as the sun is up. And we'll do batteries and all that good stuff over here. So we'll do like a little power section here. And then we'll do have it come out so that it joins the base over here. So eventually we'll have like the whole thing connected. But I want little pads here and there. Um, I don't want it to be one big massive structure. I think by spreading out a little bit, we'll uh, we'll have better chances of making this look actually pretty decent. So 
Yeah, that's the plan. So next week or next episode, I don't know when the next episode is going to come. I keep saying next week, but it's probably not going to be next week. It's probably going to be sometime this week, uh, guaranteed, um, even though I do like three or four different games are right now. So uh, just have fun with it, right? So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.